Everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 9, and that's a times b is equal to 3. So let's call this equation 1, and a times b equal to 3, let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a plus b? And that a plus b is greater or equal to 0. Now, let's prevent the solution here. Let's prevent the solution. Now, the first step, the first step here, the first step from here, from equation one, which is a squared minus b squared, which is equal to nine. Let's square both signs from here. Now, a squared minus b squared raised to power two, this is actually in the form of a minus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a b. Applying this algebraic identity, then this means that we have here a squared raised to power 2 plus b squared raised to power 2 subtract 2 times a squared times b squared this is equal to 9 squared which is 81 now this means from here is square list power 2 this is in the form of a to power n list power m which we can express as a to power n times m now applying this exponent property then here we have a to power 4 plus b to power 2 times 2, this is 4. Then subtract 2 times, we can express a squared and b squared as 2 into the parentheses a times b squared, this is equal to 81. But a times b is what we have in equation 2. In equation 2 here, a b is equal to 3. So let's substitute this. So we have a to power 4 plus b to power 4. Subtract 2 times 3 squared. This is equal to 81. So this means we have a to power 4 plus b to power 4. Subtract 2 times 3 squared, which is 9. This is equal to 81. So this implies we have a to power 4 plus b to the power 4, subtract 9 times 2, which is 18. This is equal to 81. Minus 18. Let's take minus 18 to the right-hand side so that we have a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4. This is equal to 81 plus 18. And this implies that a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 this is equal to 81 plus 18, which is 99. Now, let's move to the second step here. Let's call this step 2. Now, we have that if we have x squared plus y squared, this can be expressed as, now, x squared plus y squared, this is the same thing as x plus y squared, subtract 2xy. Now from here, we have that x is equal to a squared, and we have that y is equal to b squared. Now, x squared is the same thing as a squared raised to power 2, then plus y squared is b squared raised to power 2. This is equal to, now here we have a squared plus b squared raised to power 2, subtract 2 times, here we have a squared times b squared. So now, now here we have a to power 2 raised to power 2. This is a to power 4 plus b to power 4. 
this is equal to now into the parentheses a squared plus b squared raised to power 2 subtract 2 we can express a squared and b squared as a times b squared but from equation 2 from equation 2 we have that a times b this is equal to 3 so let's substitute here so we have that a to power 4 plus b to power 4 this is equal to a squared plus b squared raised to the power 2 subtract 2 times a b which is 3 then 3 raised to the power 2 now we also have that a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 this is equal to 99 from what we have here 8 that is a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 this is equal to 99 so let's substitute this so here we have 99 this is equal to a squared plus b squared subtract 3 squared this is 9 times 2 which is 18 so let's take minus 18 on the left hand side so that now here we have 99 plus 18 this is equal to now here we have a squared plus b squared raised to power 2 so from here we have that 99 plus 18 this is equal to 117 so we can write this as a squared plus b squared raised to power 2 this is equal to 117 now from here to solve for a squared plus b squared, we apply the square root on both sides. That is a squared plus b squared raised to power 2. This is equal to, now here we have plus or minus the square root of 117. Now, let's eliminate here the square root sign so that we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus or minus we can express the square root of 117 as 13 times 9 so here we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 this is 3 then square root of 13 now let's call this equation 3 now let's 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 continue the next step let's continue the next step now in step 3 here given that a plus b squared this is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a b now this is an algebraic identity so that a plus b squared, this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared. But a squared plus b squared is what we have in equation 3 here, as you can see. This is what we have in equation 3. So this implies that a plus b squared, this is equal to plus or minus 3 square root of 13, then plus 2 times a b a b is equal to 3 so let's substitute 3 so that now here we have a plus b squared this is equal to now 2 times 3 this is 6 so we can have 6 plus or minus 3 square root of 13 now here this implies that we have two values of a plus b squared the first value is 6 plus 3 square root of 13. This is the first value here. Then we have a plus b squared. We have also 6 minus 3 square root of 13. Now, if you check here, a plus b to power 2, this is actually greater or equal to 0. 
But if you take 6 minus 3, square root of 13, the second part here, this is actually less or equal to 0. And given the condition that a plus b from the initial statement here, a plus b is greater or equal to 0, given this statement, then you find that 6 minus 3 square root of 13 violates the given condition. So this part will be rejected. So this part is rejected. The second part is rejected. But the first part here, you find that a plus b squared, this is greater than 0, and this is also greater than 0. So let's proceed from here. Now here we have a plus b squared, this is equal to 6 plus 3 square root of 13. Now to solve for a plus b, let's introduce the square root on both sides. So this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 6 plus 3 square root of 13. So let's simplify here so that we have a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 6 plus 3 square root of 13. Now, this is the solution to this algebra problem. This is the solution to this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Kindly like and subscribe. See you in the next video.